Time now for the tale of the tape brought to you by Toyo Tires. All or nothing base, as we said, just 21 years old. Joby is an inch taller and a slightly longer reach for the more experienced Joby Sanchez. Our referee tonight is Mark Smith. All right, JP, first round ready. Joby, first round ready. Fight's on. Our fight clock tonight, as always, brought to you by Toyo Tires. All or nothing. Joby Sanchez in the purple. JP Bays, the South African, in the blue trunks. He landed a nice right hand there on Joby's exit. We heard Uriah say that the champ looks for him. He tries to get him to train. So he's got to bring that level to this to this octagon today. Well, you heard Joby say he was going to take it right Watch to him, too, and going to try to have oh! Beautiful suplex. Joby's hurt. Right, His arm's trapped. He's going to do it again. Big time strength by Baze. That's that freestyle wrestling. That's that world class wrestling. He went to the world championships in 2013, and, and he just showed us why right there. Joby's trying to hit the switch, but JP looks like he knows exactly what he needs to do to block it. Good job by Joby to transition to the top position. Here's where experience helps Joby a little bit. You talk about that wrestling pedigree for Bays. He was the African Greco Roman wrestling champ back in 2012. Nice job by Joby in closing that gap so he can't fire those knees anymore. But Joby probably needs to separate and work from the outside. He wants to test his wrestling, though. Yeah, he's grabbing that leg. Keep those legs split. And let's try to dig an underhook on that left side. Joby has a very aggressive submission game. When you're in this position with a good wrestler, I mean, wrestlers have a great squeeze. And when they can get to that front headlock position, you are risking that guillotine. But he got out of it. Nice hammer fist by Joby. And you can hear that all the way out here. Hey, hook shot. Hook shot at the right See what he's doing with his head? And the position that he has him in, he was not going to be able to move his hips in that position. That was a good job. But unfortunately, he wasn't able to hold it. He added a couple of elbows to the outside of the tricep area, that left arm of Bays. Yeah, and that's going to wear him down. Notice what Joby's doing with that head control. He's putting his head in the right position every time. Why is that so important? That head position, he doesn't know what he's doing with that is he's not allowing JP to control his, use his hips. By pinning his head up against the fence like that, Joby can't, I'm sorry, JP can't turn his head at will, and he can't move his hips the way he would like to. Just over two and a half minutes to go in the first round fight between 21-year-old JP Bays and 26-year-old Joby Sanchez. He hit that switch again. Now, he's not hitting the switch perfect, but he's using it to get to the top position, and that's all he needs to do. But he needs to, separate, to create some space with his torso and throw, throw some shots. Put his hips on him and get his head up and away so he can make space so he can use those arms. There's a reversal there by Bays. And you're going to see that out of the wrestlers when you try to get into these grappling matches. You've got to use your punches. Let's hear what uh, JP Bay's corner is saying here. Cody Garbrandt among hey, them. Let him, hey, just sit there. Just sit there. Let him, let him take that. Hey, if we could get the body triangle, let's look for that body triangle. Perfect. There it is, good. Now squeeze the shit out of him. Yep. There you go, there you go. Nice, right, soften, soften him up. Keep working there, Perfect. keep working there. Hey, good job, JP. Keep working it. Hey, Danny Castillo is real animated in that yeah, corner. I think he was pretty clear on what he wanted him to do, right? Yeah, I just, I mean, we've seen that in the octagon once. I don't want to see it again. <laughs> I'm right there with you, brother. Now what JP needs to do is he needs to yeah, put some pressure on that face, start peeling, and start peeling those hands under the chin. Reverse speed bag that face to get, get those hands underneath that chin and work that choke. Or that he, he hammer can, fist there and then the elbow to the side of the head. Yeah, or he can stretch him out. If, if, he, if Joby turns him off of that fence again, stretch him out right there. You'll fall on your back, but you'll be in a better control position when you're on the mat rather than on your feet. What's, what's Joby thinking right now? Joby's got to get that leg off of him. See the way he's fighting those hands? He can take his elbows, keep them in tight, protect his chin, shrug his shoulders to his neck, and push down on that knee. That's going to make that, arm, that leg fall out. And when he gets to that position, he can't let him put him back in. Or he can take one hand, control the wrist. He's got to control that wrist so that he doesn't get choked. He's got his arm in there, and he's safe for now. But he's not going to dump him off like that. Now he's not going to be able to build back up. Hey, Tony, Tony! Hey, look at you, Good ball. Hey, man, man. 20 seconds, Johnny. Protect your neck now. 
Oh, JP can lean to one. Oh, nice transition by Joby. But he's resting in that arm bar. He's got to watch. He's out of it. He's not, he's not in danger anymore. Not in danger anymore with 10 seconds to go here in the first round between Sanchez and Faze. You can hear the corner yelling, punish him. Speaking of the corners, let's listen in the corners now with our corner camp brought to you by Grunt Style Will Defend. Here's Joby's corner. How are you feeling? Hell of a round. Good. Hold this on his back, please. Sit up. Big breath. Take a big breath. He's not moving his head either, okay? Faint fire that fucking 300. Two, three. Okay. Then, I, then I need you to roll, okay? Okay. Put pressure on him. I want. I don't want one or two. I want three or four, okay? Listen, he's gonna come. Let's look at this beautiful suplex that JP Bias is able to hit. He gets to that back control. That arm is trapped. This is Greco Roman wrestling at its finest, right on the head. Let's take a listen to what that sounds like when he does it. It's beautiful. Lost the cup there. Careful on the cup. My neck hurts from that. <laughs> but when he's on the back control, look at how he drives these elbows in. I've been in, I've been in, jo in Joby's position before, and I've taken those elbows. And those, they, those are really painful on the jaw. You really feel them because you can't see them coming. Round two now underway between Sanchez and Bays. Let's see what the South African can do here. Nice body shot by Joby. He's got to follow that up. He landed that shot to the body, and a nice right hand would have been beautiful behind that. Great right from Joby. Now, Bays looks like he's slowed down a bit. And his hands are kind of low. Look like, the, like it's laboring for him to move. He's laboring to move. Nice right hand, beautiful right hand. Bays shoots there. And, and right now, Joby's doing the right thing. He's got his head pinned to the mat by keeping his hips down. Keep dragging him forward, keep that weight on his head. And he's going to have a hard time getting up. Now he's, right now, he's in wrestling positions with a world-class wrestler. And this will tell us right now how tired J.P. Bays is. Bays is looking for a knee bar. But Joby sees that. He wants to keep his hips heavy. Good job. Good job by Joby in that transition. But now he's got to get aggressive. When he gets this top control, he really has to get this round and control it the way Baze did in the first. But do damage, not just control position. You know, amazingly, this is only the second time in Baze's career that he's been in the second round. Well, he's going he's gonna to have to to really pick it up. I mean, he's going to have to Watch be in the moment, JP. not worry about it, not even feel the pain or the pressure for his cardio, because he looks like he's slowing down. And when you slow down at this level, you will get abused. Yeah, Joby just came out in the second round with a lot more energy here. It wasn't even like Bays wore down. It was almost as if he was more tired from that first round. Yeah, he was he was tired, and you could see it. He was he was a little bit slower. He wasn't moving as well. And when you see in these transitions, and Joby's looking for this this, this choke, this Katagatami choke. And if he can finish this, he's got to keep his hips down, keep it squeezed. Don't, oh, he had a good position, but he bailed on it. Still has top position, landing a couple of hammer fists as Joby. Another big right there to the head. Yeah, big punches, and he's doing a great job from his top position. He's showing that control, that, that experience that he has. He's showing that right now by breaking him down and beating him up. That's it. It's over. Good. Joby Sanchez, the question is, he's won here before. Was it enough? We've seen some amazing things in the two fights prior to this. That was a great job by Joby, especially with the comeback and, and looking strong in the second round. But, I mean, this, this is a challenge, and this is what this whole show is about, man. These guys really overcoming and pushing the fight. Well, I wonder what's going through his head right now. Was it spectacular enough to convince Dana White to give him that contract. Let's look at the finish here, Eve. Yeah, look at how Joby has his hips in there, has, has his legs in, and he breaks him down. When you push those, your hips forward and drive your legs, and you take away your opponent's hips, they can't do anything but try to build back up or protect themselves, especially when you're throwing big shots like this. It's harder to build up because you need your arms to push back into your hips. Joby did everything he needed to do right there. This is where you really saw the experience come in and the fact that 
base has only been to the second round five once five, before. He was totally out of the, out of gas by the time the round started. Yeah, he was out of he gas. Was he was out of control of the positions that he was in, and he looked like he was comfortable. He accepted being on the bottom in that in that transition, and in all those transitions they went through in the second round. There's Dana, maybe studying the bios, checking out what uh, what he's going to do tonight. I, I'm I'm fascinated by these first three fights to see. What Dane is going to do, Laura Senko in the octagon now. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mark Smith has called a stop to this bout at 2 minutes 28 seconds of round number two, declaring your winner by TKO, Joby Sanchez. Yeah.